Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, first off, I just want to apologize for not being super consistent lately. I know I haven't uploaded a video in almost a month. And I'm really sorry about that, but like I've told you guys before, this is not my only job. I wish that it, it was a hobby, it's not even a job. I wish it was a job, that'd be awesome. But unfortunately it's not, I do work. Um, and I have two kiddos, and things are crazy in life lately. So I had so many plans to do so many more videos during October and November, and things just didn't happen. There was illnesses, there was holidays, birthday party, there's so much going on that I just didn't have the opportunity to sit down and film. So, I'm trying to make up for that because I don't want to miss out on December because it's my favorite month of the whole entire year and I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited for holiday videos and so I've tried to make as much time as I can to film. So, <clears throat> please be expecting to see more videos this month and uh, let's get started on this one. So, the point of this video is to kind of give you some options for holiday wear. I know during the holidays it gets super stressful to kind of figure out what you're going to wear. You want, because I feel like there's this added pressure to like look this certain way, like a sparkling diamond in the sky or something ridiculous. And some people come back in town from places that you want to impress or there's holiday dates or you're going to work parties or things like that and there's a lot more pressure to appear and look a certain glam way, so, or you may have family in town who likes to comment on weight and be total douches, that was not a nice word, total jerks, <laughs> and um, make you feel insecure about yourself. So I want to share with you some things that make me feel good, that make me feel pretty and glam without making me feel, you know, at all insecure mm -hmm. and not focused on other people. Of course, clothes aren't the thing that's going to give you the confidence necessarily, but I think that it can help out. So, um, and a lot of these clothes aren't like sequined gowns or stuff like that. They're gonna be things that you can wear throughout like the whole entire holiday season because there's a lot more than just one event. Maybe you have a big Christmas party, holiday party, or you have a work party, you have family events, you have pictures, you know, there's so many different things and you need different outfits for different things. So. Yes, um, this is going to be part one. I'm going to do a whole other one when the rest of my big shipment comes in. Um, but all of these clothes are either from Walmart or JCPenney's. I really wanted to make them easily accessible. And um, just think, you know, like most people have a JCPenney's or at least a Walmart in their area. So if you wanted to go in store rather than shop online. Just decide. Plus it was a good thing for me. Everything was really inexpensive. And uh, yeah, so let's just get started. The first thing I want to talk about are sweaters. Now, I love wearing sweaters during the holidays and fall because they're cozy, they're comfortable, and they're cute. I feel like sweaters just make you look cute. It just amps up the cuteness because everybody loves looking cute in a cozy sweater. You know, you're automatically like, oh, she knows, she knows. Um, so, this one is from Walmart, and it's basically a cuffed, kind of off the shoulder, um, brown, or brown. Uh, black and white that comes off now kind of gray but when you actually look at it you can see that there's black thread and white thread but coming back here it looks gray um, and it is really nicely knit it's kind of a looser knit though so it's not anything that's too tight but it kind of gives a nice breeze so it's not overly hot because it does keep you warm and it's easily layerable but sometimes when you go into rooms that are heated because it's so cold outside you get like really toasty so this is something that i think is easily to you can wear this like all day and not feel like you're a hot box or anything um it's nice and loose there's some stretch to it so you know you don't have to feel like you're you know glued into it and i like sweaters to be cozy and big um, and it is also long enough that it's kind of like high-low, so the back, if you can see, um, it goes, it covers your booty, so you can wear leggings and boots if you'd like. Now, I don't think this is meant to go off the shoulder, but I did size up so that I could do like a one-shoulder action thing, and I really like that. This is in an 18 to 20 a 2. So um, it is bigger, but I really like that about it. It's cozy, and I believe this was under $15. And like I said, this is from Walmart. Did I say that? This is from Walmart, and this is um, Faded Glory. Really cute. Really, really like it. Now, the next sweater is from JCPenney's. Gave you both options. Now, you guys saw this in my last clothing haul, and a lot of you really liked it, and I did mention it in that video a little bit there. This is from a Anna, A-N-A, a new 
approach. Um, and it's this cream colored big sweater as well. Now this is technically in the straight sizing and it isn't even the largest size in the straight sizing. It's an extra large and I think it goes up to a double in the straight sizing. I'm not sure if they have this in plus, but this definitely runs big. It's comfy. It has a nice stretch to it too. It has kind of like a cool cable knit action going down. I love like the little lace. It gives it like kind of like a sexy feel. And I also like to wear this off the shoulder as well. Um, it does stretch throughout the day. So when you wash it, it's going to be a bit tighter, but then it loosens up the more you wear it. Some people hate that. Some people like that. I happen to like it. It just feels like it gets cozier, more lived in. Um, this is kind of like a wash and lay fat flat sort of item. But I still feel like it kind of shrunk a little bit, even though I washed it on cold and I laid it flat. I still feel like it shrunk a tiny, tiny bit, um, more in the length than anything. But I still really like it. I'm loving this thing. I wear this all the time. It's starting to kind of feel like getting dingy because I wear it so often. But this, I believe, was on sale for $17 at the time. But I'm sure you can get it for that price or cheaper now. Jeezy Pennies always has really good sales as well. Um, the last kind of sweater item is also from JCPenney's. Now this is from Arizona Jeans. Yeah, whatever. I just call it Arizona. This is the from the Juniors line. Now this is a little bit more of like a wild item. My husband hates this. <laughs> I haven't worn it out yet, but I actually really like it. Um, and I believe it came in another color, at least one other color. Um, and this is from the Juniors Plus line. I got this in a one, and I feel like it is can't remember. I normally do my try on section after I talk, so I can't remember if this runs big or if it fits. I can't remember. You'll see if it is baggy at all. It looks it looks like it's big, so I think it's going to be a little bit looser. But it's a cream, very very soft and cozy on the inside sweatshirt. But the shoulder, from the shoulder down mid arm, is a complete lace panel, which is super pretty. And then they have kind of these little ruffle bits. Now this is a little crazy for some. I feel like. Especially with the ruffles are very like obvious, flamboyant. They make me just kind of want to like shimmy all the time. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's super cute though. Um, but if it's not something in your comfort zone, don't worry. But if you want to try something new, go a little crazy, do something other than a sweater, you know, this is a good option. It is a lightweight, but still, I think would still keep you plenty warm, but it's not super heavy of a sweatshirt, which I like about it. Um, I liked it in the cream. I thought it made me think of like snow or something. So I always like cream sweaters in the winter, but I feel like I'm just so pale. I can never pull them off, but I happen to really like this color. So I like this a lot. This was inexpensive as well. I can't remember the exact prices, but I, everything was under 20, definitely under 20. So <clears throat> now these next two items are things that um, aren't necessarily something that's going to scream holidays. Now, the reason that I like showing the sweaters is because not every time you have something to go to that's going to require some glitzy dress. Sometimes you have like maybe Christmas Day, you just wear like a nice sweater, or if you're going out Christmas shopping, or something you just want to be festive and holiday without having to like, you know, wear sequins out or something. So, this next top is definitely not something that you'd be like, oh, that's totally holidays, or that's totally even winter time. But I liked it a lot, and I still think this is pretty, and I wanted to share it. So this is, I believe, from Walmart as well. It's from a line called No Comment Plus, and this is in a one. And this is an off-the-shoulder kind of chiffon flowy flower top. Now, like I said, maybe you don't want to wear something that's red or green or super obviously Christmas. Maybe you don't celebrate Christmas, but you still want to have like a pretty top. I really like this one. One, because it goes off the shoulder and looks really pretty, but the off the shoulders have our complete like chiffon -y sleeves, so they're really flowy and they cover up any, you got this stuff, you know what I'm talking about? And um, it doesn't, it's not form fitting, but it's not overly loose on the body, so it doesn't make you look like a box, but it does go over the tummy nicely, so if you want to have a food baby from your holiday treats, no worries, this got you covered, literally. Um, it's really, really stretchy, and I just think it's really pretty. It's nice, it's, it's just black with some flowers on it, and I just simple, I think this can go through like all year long, but I just really liked it. Um, and you can dress it up with some boots. You want to make it like put like a black moto jacket on if you want, or wear this into the spring. 
because I feel like after Christmas, it's like we start focusing our clothes on like springtime, even though it's not technically spring, and it's actually like most of us can't wait till spring because you're just tired of winter. But you start thinking more of that sort of thing. So I think it's nice to buy things that can like go through multiple seasons, like this shirt. Now this I bought. Oh no! Did I not? Did I spill on this and not realize it? Go me! I hope that's not wine. Oh no. Oh no. No, I just think the colors. I can't tell what's happening here. Oh no. I realized that I just washed this and I think some of the colors bled. That's so sad. But it kind of looks like I like spilt grape juice or like wine all over it. Whatever, I'm still gonna rock it. I like this top. But you probably saw this for like a second in my um, flying to Arizona or going to Arizona vlog. This I got for my grandmother's celebration of life party. And they had it in multiple colors. This is also from JCPenney's. Um, but I just thought this was beautiful. This would have been perfect for Thanksgiving had I filmed this video on time. Um, but I still think it's beautiful and it's worthy to share. Like I said, this does come in other colors. I want to say this comes in like a black as well, if not more. So you can, if you really like this, like, cut of it, it does come in other colors. So this is a floral, um, kind of peasanty shirt. It has the kind of choker neckline that's really popular. And then it goes into a deep V. Now this is pretty booby as you're going to, well... I think what I'm wearing right now won't be as booby, but if I wasn't wearing the bralette that I'm wearing right now, you could tell it's very booby. So I think it'd actually really be pretty with like a cream bralette under to move a little peakage. Um, I always wear camis underneath it if you need to. But it has big bell sleeves, really lightweight, so if you live in a place that's a bit warmer but you still want to look pretty, this is a good option. I think this can easily go through spring. I think this is great through fall. This is like a piece that goes through all seasons to me. Um, it's pretty flowy. This is also, I want to say, in a straight size. Yeah, this is again from the ANA brand. This is a double, and this is actually pretty big. So I feel like I could have gone down a size. I don't know if they make this in plus size. Most of the times they do make the same style in plus size. Um, not that it may look as nice because they're not considered it, they just do one size fits all kind of thing where it's like extra small to 3x or however big it goes. So, um, I don't know what it looks like on, like if it was for like just, they just made it bigger for plus or whatever, but, um, I would say that this does run big, so I would size down. Um, and really beautiful. It does come in other colors. Just now be aware that apparently that it bleeds. So, that's disappointing but I'm still gonna wear it. Okay, moving on to more of our glam, glamour things. Um, this next thing is kind of hard to wear. I haven't figured out how to wear it yet because it's so revealing in the fact that I, probably because I sized up and I don't know what to wear it underneath. Now, if you may not be very big chested or even if you don't care about that sort of thing um, then you could totally rock this without a bra it is very sheer though to me and it's really pretty it's just really beautiful like silky um, kind of cami camisole sort of top it has like the like lacing up front or the crisscross up front and then these like kind of a t-strap on the back and I think this is so pretty um, it does come in other colors. I really liked this. I believe I sized up in this. Yes, this is a 2X. Um, I sized up in this because I think this is from Walmart, the No Boundaries line, and No Boundaries is a junior's line and typically runs small. Um, but I thought it was really pretty, so I sized up, and I feel like it's just a little too baggy up in the, like, up here area, my chest area, and I don't know how to wear it. I guess if you had like a strapless bandeau top and maybe it was lacy, because it's gonna show either way this would work. I have to figure out how to wear it still, but I think it's really pretty, pretty, pretty.
pretty or if you maybe are not gonna wear like take off a jacket or something you could rock this with like like I said like a bandeau or something that's not gonna show um, too much of it so, like you want something that's pretty low cut that really just covers the boobs but it was like five dollars or under so it was really inexpensive um next I have this which I got from JC Penny. Yes, JC Penny's. This is from Self Esteem, which I remember getting as a kid. Do you guys remember that brand as a kid? I don't know. I just shopped at Kohl's a lot, JC Penny's a lot, and like kind of inexpensive department stores with my mom. And I just remember certain brands like this, and they're still going, so that's awesome. But um, anyway, this, we're moving on to our velvet section. As you guys have seen, I think I've shown you, oh, I've only shown you one piece of velvet in the past, but I'm like obsessive with the velvet trend. So this top is this beautiful floral navy blue velvet with these rose colored flowers on it. Um, they're, it's just so pretty. I love the sheen that it gives. It's velvet, but it's like a very shiny, beautiful velvet. I love, I don't know, blue velvet is just stunning. So um, it comes with the straps with like an off the shoulder thing and the little sleeves are ruffles this is another good ruffle because you can do off the shoulders with it still kind of hiding the arm chub um, it goes into like kind of a nice V up front it flares out nice and flowy so pretty I wore this for my daughter's three uh, third three-year-old birthday party I love this this is something that I am super happy I got um, it is a bit heavy. It's a little bit, if you're going to be in a place that's going to be hot, maybe not wear this. I feel like even at our little party, I was like burning up. So, um, but I was running around picking up kids and doing stuff and I normally get flustered and hot anyway. So it's not that abnormal for me, but just keep in mind that I feel like this does keep you a bit warm. But then again, it is like velvet or faux velvet or whatever. They did have this in another color I think which I may end up going to get because I really really liked this top I thought it was so pretty all right okay next velvet top on the list now the thing about the velvet tops that I really like is these are nice to be able to wear with jeans you can dress them up dress them down you can wear them to church if you don't like to go too dressy at church to Christmas day dinner date whatever it is if you're having like a little like next week we're having like a Christmas game night and stuff with our friends like if you want to feel festive but not look overdressed um, I think these are great options so this next thing is also from JCPenney's this was also in a 1x this was from Worthington Woman I do think this also came in plus size no this is a plus size duh but I do think this came in straight sizes as well um, this is a bit big too so maybe this is something I could have also sized down in um, but I don't know I always just go for one solid size and hope for the best uh, but this is also one of those tops that has the kind of choker neck, ow, choker neck, and then goes into another deep V. Apparently, I'm really into showing my cleavage lately. Um, and then the sleeves are these beautiful flutter um, sleeves, which I think makes the shirt so pretty. I love the deep burgundy, burgundy, I can't talk today. Um, I love the deep burgundy color. I do think this also came in different colors as well and it just flares out. I kind of wish it was a little bit maybe more cinched in at the waist. I had a bit more shape I guess when it kind of flares out um, but that just could could have been I could have just got a smaller size because I do feel like it's a tiny bit boxy but I still think it's really pretty and like the neck and shoulders are what makes it so I feel like you can even like tuck this in a skirt or pants or something and like really get it um so that's a win for me as well okay and this next thing is more of like a Christmas outfit if you're going to church or maybe you have a company party or a holiday party whatever it is and you need to dress up we have a velvet dress because I can't stop and once again it's burgundy don't know where I'm gonna wear this to just got it because why not my luck is that next year the velvet trend will be like so dead that you'd be caught wearing velvet you're like the tackiest person on the block not that it really matters but still this is from a brand called paper doll this is from Walmart I spent under no, I think I spent like $19 on this dress barely anything and it's just this long, well not long, but it goes back to her knee. It's a bit longer than I expected, but still really nice velvet dress. It's very simple, just has a nice, it's kind of like a wrap 
dress it has that look of it but it doesn't actually you know you don't like flop open but it has that idea of a wrap dress and belted at the waist I feel like maybe doing like a more of a pretty delicate belt would make this kind of pop or having like a big statement necklace um I do like this I feel like it's not the most flattery necessarily like it doesn't show a lot of the curvage but if you just want something simple that's really pretty, I think this is great. I did size up, but once again, that could be why it's not as flattering. Um, so I got this in two, and it's, I feel like it's definitely a bit big, but I want it to be a bit flowy, but I think I could have easily sized down and kept my normal sizing. Um, I think this will be really pretty with tights, no tights depending where you live, a little light jacket, some booties, what have you. I think this will be really, really pretty, and I like it. It has stretch to it. It's comfortable. If you're looking for a, just a nice, simple Christmas dress, I think this is a really good option. Last but not least, and the last piece of velvet, um, is a sleep set here. This is also from Walmart. Now, if you came knocking on my door at midnight, if you hear my kids, they're playing out there with my husband. Um, I don't just leave my kids. I'm like, all right, I'm filming, bye. <laughs> anyway, I just want to clarify. Um, anyway, if you knocked on my door at like midnight and were like coming to see what I wear to sleep, I don't know why you would be doing that, but hey, you're like, I want to check her out at midnight, you know, what does she wear to bed? I would be wearing the most unattractive sleep clothes, like big, giant, holy t-shirts that I don't know where I got. They would come from somebody, I don't know who they are. Um, really, really like stretched out old pajama bottoms that I like to wear way way too high don't know why i do that either i look like a hobo my husband hates it hates it i just like to sleep comfortably i like to sleep in big clothes i don't know it's just my thing i've always been that way i'm not someone who likes to sleep in like little tiny things or sleep like naked i am i do not like this is totally off topic but i do not like being naked it's not for like insecurity issues i just don't like the way it feels to be naked like i like to be clothed i like the way it feels to be clothed so i like to wear big baggy things to bed i know a lot of people like to sleep like in their underwear or something that's just not me i don't like it i feel weird doing it it's just i don't like it so in a compromise to appease my husband and to make me feel a bit you know more attractive because i love the idea of really pretty nightgowns i just don't wear them i just am always wearing ugly sleep clothes i found this set at Walmart. Now this came separately. You had to buy the top and the shorts separately. Um, but together it was only about $14, so not that bad at all. And they did have different colors. They had like a blush tone. Ollie! Shh! They had a blush tone. They had a blue and I want a black like I got and I want to say a white. Um, but basically it's just this cami with this lace top up here. Or lace kind of where the um, neckline is. It goes up to a razor back in the back as well as some lace detailing on the back which I think is really pretty and then it just flows on out. Um, and then the pants are very simple elastic waist with um, the lacy at the bottom. Now I bought completely separate sizes don't know why I did that. I think I was just like in a rush. I want to say my child was crying and I was like just grab grab go um, and I did so I don't know why I did that, but I bought my pants in a size 2, and they're very big. So I feel like sticking to regular size would definitely be preferable for this. Um, however, I like big pants. I like, you know, sleeping baggy at night, so they're good with me. They are a bit see-through, so I mean, I wouldn't try rocking this out in public or anything. I don't know. I mean, you do you. If you want to rock this in public, you, yeah, but just be wary. It's a little bit see-through. Um, but I like that because they're lightweight. I like to sleep in like, I like to sleep in arctic temperatures, but I have children and I can't freeze them like snowmen. So I have to dress kind of loose and, you know, breezy. So I like the fact that it's not really heavy, especially because it is like a velvet. Um, the top I got in a extra large. See, I don't know what I was thinking with that one. I definitely should have got this in a, a bigger size just because I like it to be flowy. Now, this fits me just fine. I wouldn't say it's small or anything, but I like flowy things, so whatever. Um, I don't know how it washes yet because I have yet to wash it. I've only worn it once, though, so don't judge me. Don't think I'm like some creepo. 
but um really like it i want to get the other ones the only thing i am worried about the fact that it is see-through and i'm scared to wear it and get like the white or something and like wear it around my children and you can see like my nips or something <laughs> so anyway i've always i don't dress like i do but i've always loved like old hollywood like starlet sleeping gowns like the I can't, is the Pingua set? You know, like they had like the beautiful long satin sleeping gown and then they had like the dressing coat that had lace and buttons. Like I love that style and I would love that. So I would look the most extra walking around my little apartment in that, but I would love that. And I've been searching so much and you can find like old, you know, vintage things on like eBay or Etsy, but they don't have any plus sizes. <laughs> so um i can't find any like really beautiful old you know that kind of style so if you know anything like that please let me know because i would love that i've gone on things like adore me and things like that but that's more i feel like sexy and i just want like glamorous beautiful if you know what i'm talking about like that very beautiful style like she's like putting her makeup on at her vanity mirror and she has this big beautiful dressing gown not necessarily the ones with like the big foo-foo sleeves um but if you know what i'm saying and you know where to get that, please let me know because I would be super interested. Anyway, that is that. I hope you had enjoyed this video. And um, happy holidays, guys. I'm so excited to get started on the holiday videos. Keep a lookout. My next video, which I'm hoping to also post pretty much right after this one, is my holiday decorate with me. I can tell that in here that is completely crooked up there. But um, you guys can do that with me as well. And... Um, what else was there? I think that was about it. I think that was about it. That's all I had to tell you. Oh, I am going to do another one, like I said, of this holiday kind of outfit video slash winter options, maybe more like New Year's Eve. Um, so if you want to see that, please leave it liked below um, and leave a comment on anything else that you guys are interested in seeing on this channel. And uh, I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye, guys.